Hello, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you kind of an important um, warning slash safety tip slash thing to look out for. And that is, how long has it been since you've checked on the health of your hotspot batteries? Now, a mobile hotspots like this uh, Netgear AC791 um, rely on having a battery inside them to work. And even if you have them plugged in um, and are tethering them full time to a computer or to a mobile router, they generally don't work at all or very well without a battery installed. Um, so you have to keep this battery in. and. People are concerned about, well, what happens to this battery if it's plugged in continuously and always charging? Um, for the most part, it's not a big deal, but there are some things you gotta be aware of. The old Pantech MHS 291L hotspot was notorious for having a poor charging circuit and it would destroy batteries over and over and over again that were left in to charge. And it uh, behind kind of a major black spot against that particular hotspot and people were always needing to buy spares or figure out ways to uh, modify the hotspot to run without the batteries. Most other hotspots have gone a lot longer without major reports of problems, but some like this uh, Netgear AC791L are now kind of reaching that point in their life that more and more people are noticing problems with their batteries. And this is what you have to look out for. Ours actually just reached the failure point. Um, so every so often, check on the health of your batteries. You know, physically examine them. If you see any sort of splits or swelling, um, like this one is kind of cracked open here, this battery is not safe to use anymore and should be properly discarded, um, electronic waste recycling, and replaced. And so it's a good idea to have a spare battery on hand. Um, so Netgear AC791Ls, we're hearing more and more reports of the batteries hitting their end of life and starting to split open like this. Um, keep an eye on other hotspots. It depends on the quality of their charging circuits of how well they're going to do of keeping their batteries healthy over time, but batteries are um, consumable items. They do eventually wear out. Things you can do to help extend the battery life um, is when you're charging them, try to keep the hotspots from overheating, keep them cool, keep the batteries cool. This means don't leave your hotspot sitting in a hot windshield, don't have it pressed right up against a hot booster or hot electronics in your tech cabinet, and um, maybe even add a little bit of an air gap if you do, just a little bit of space for some ventilation around how you have your hotspot set up. Um, doing this, you can be very successful going for, for uh, months and even a year on end of keeping it plugged in and running 24 7 but do check on it every so often making sure that the battery is staying healthy so you know some people wonder like well what, what's the big deal if the battery starts to swell like this or or cracks or splits open um bad things can happen if a battery fails. Usually the safety electronic circuits inside a device will prevent anything, but you do not want a battery to split apart and maybe catch fire or, um, um, well, or the most basic is it could just fail and shut down your device um, suddenly. You will notice actually when the batteries are close to their failure point, if you touch them, they can be very hot, almost scalding hot. And that is another sign that a battery is uh, um, breaching its end of life and needs to be discarded as if it is getting extremely hot just on its own when charging. Check through the description and links uh, attached to this video. We've got uh, links to get replacement uh, batteries for all the various brands of mobile hotspots. You might want to keep a spare on hand if you rely on connectivity because most hotspots will not work if without a battery. And if the battery fails, you might be disconnected and not even able to get on Amazon to order a spare. So keep a spare on hand if you rely on this and uh, check the links for every resource we know of. Thank you.